Hey DJ Tech Tools, Ian Golden here. Uh, for years, this was the controller I used in the club, and I used it right next to a mixer. I used my right hand to control two decks and mix two decks on a mixer with my left. And recently, I've begun experimenting with the concept of mixing with just MIDI fighters. So two MIDI fighters, one for deck B, one for deck A, one sound card with two channels running into the mixer and then mixing on the mixer uh, those two channels together. And the results are actually very cool and a lot of fun. And this is now pretty much going to be my club rig. And I'd like to share that mapping with you and walk through the entire thing right now. So to do that, you go ahead and go to djtechtools.com, download the MIDI fighter mapping. Uh, the decalized mapping is what we're calling it because it's deck focused. You'll go to your import tab find that mapping wherever you downloaded it. I put it here on my desktop there. You want to bring in all the settings, maybe not the keyboard settings, we'll leave that out. We'll leave out the GUI layout too. Boom. Now if you'll go here, you'll notice you've got four mappings, one for deck A, B, C, and D. And I've got two controllers. Now how I've got these controllers connected is through a USB hub. So I've got one USB port using uh, two, running two MIDI fighters and one USB port running one sound card. It's pretty convenient, easy to set up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect to MIDI fighter deck A, my first MIDI fighter. You can see I've got two in that list because I've got two MIDI fighters connected. And then to deck B, I'm gonna connect a second MIDI fighter. And so now I've got my two MIDI fighters deck focused. So now let's show you how to actually use these things. Of course, the two are mirrored, but we'll go through the mix and show you how to do some things in real time. The first thing you need, of course, is the blue button here. That's pause. Right next to it is logically play. If we want to bring in the second track over here, we might want to hit sync to sync up the tempo. Pause it. Okay, right next to it you've got shift, and the shift plus sync will actually load the next song in the deck. So you can go through, load a bunch of songs really quickly. If you're in the middle of a track and you drop a cue point on the one, hitting play will jump back to that point. and hitting shift plus play will pause. On the next row, we've got some effects, and some cool effects at that. Right underneath the play button is the classic echo freeze effect. So right next to that echo freeze button, we've got a few other dedicated effects. One that I'm particularly fond of is the auto sweeping filter. And the one press echo. And as you can hear, all three of those together sound really cool. If you want to leave them on, you can use shift plus those effects to keep them cycling. For instance, that'll keep the echo or the filter cycling in and out. That'll leave the echo on. And there's another echo that's on. Okay, next to the three effects buttons, we've got the giant red button, which records eight samples or eight counts and allows you to replay that sample. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and hit the red button on the downbeat and it's gonna grab the following eight counts. So now we've got a clean loop. What we can do is press shift plus record and these eight buttons will light up to show you that you're now in sample rejuggle mode. So this button right here plays the loop back normally, and these seven kind of screw it up and chop it up into different patterns.
These two effects here are not going to work while you're in sample mode, but this one will. So you get the idea. It's pretty fun. Then as soon as you want the sample to end, just hit the red button again and the track has been looping so it'll go right back into the track and stop looping. Alright, so the next layer down we've got some, uh, some more cool effects. Underneath these effects we've got instant uh, beat repeats of different values. That's a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Next to it is a quarter note. And next to it is an eighth note. And then of course you've got a sixteenth. And together they sound really cool. And you can combine those with the effects above them for pretty cool sounds. You get the idea. Pretty fun. If you want to set a loop, just do shift plus loop roll to set a loop of eight counts, four counts, two, or one and hit that guy again to release the loop. So you've got loop rolls and loops on this layer, and then underneath that, we've got our tempo adjustment tools. So if we're mixing the track in, we can bend the track up or down and make micro tempo adjustments here. And the idea there is to make this thing feel and perform just like a turntable. So you've got tempo adjustments, pitch bending adjustments, transport adjustments, and a bunch of cool effects as well. So it wouldn't be a MIDI fighter if we didn't have some beat juggling in here too. Um, the bottom eight buttons can be turned into beat juggling mode by pressing shift plus record if a sample is not enabled. You know if there's a sample enabled because the light is solid red. Shift plus record when the record is already on puts you into sample juggle mode. But shift plus record if you haven't recorded a sample puts you into regular juggle mode. And that gives you cue points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 and allows you to record them and do some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> One cool thing about juggle mode is that you can actually record yourself and then mess with the recording. So we'll go ahead and lay down a line, record it, and then mess around with it afterwards. One thing about music, 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 one thing about